What's up, my people? It is your boy, AMG here. And today we are talking about One Piece episode 875, a captivating flavor, Sanji's Cakes of Happiness. Now, can we just start off by saying it is Mr. Prince's birthday? So happy birthday, Sanji. <laughs> But uh, go ahead and tell everybody he's a man, he's a man, he's a man. Um, this episode was the I like the music and the choreography. Really, when Big Mom was singing, it really kind of reminded me if you guys ever watched, you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame, like Gaston when he sings, it sounds like his song. That's exactly what it sounds like the same kind of melody and just the flow of the song and it even sounds like it even used some of the same uh instruments i'm not really sure what you would call that type of music or where it originated from but that's what it sounds like to me anyway the whole big mom eating the cake now i'm happy that they kind of fixed it up for a little bit because when i read that in the manga it looked so disgusting it wasn't as bad as it was in the manga since the manga was over exaggerating which is extremely surprising since anime usually over exaggerates everything but it was the flip side of that and just seeing the fishman pirates going to ham that was like they uh, dude they was kicking freaking uh cannonballs and stuff and i was like whoa how strong is these dudes that are kicking cannonballs? And that dude wasn't even the main dude who was kicking cannonballs. He was fodder on their team. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. And Jim Bay's crew was fire. Like, I promise you. They, man, they, they was doing the dang old thing, sinking all them ships. Then we moved over to the Germa, and the Germa took down Madara Chiha, <laughs> or Raisin, whatever you want to call him, slashing them back and forth, left and right. They was taking people out. And I was like, oh. The showcasing of them this episode was actually pretty dang on good, you know, until uh, Big Mom got her power back and we seen just the was it deck templates I think they are combining together. We found about found out about that in one of the Vivery cards earlier this week I think or was last week I'm not entirely sure, but they were telling they could combine so it was basically like what um. Usab, Frankie, Chopper, and then was it Zoro? And Rob, they asked Robin to do when they were supposed to be making basically essentially the Frankie Shogun. So they were supposed to be Go Go Power Rangers. That's real manly combining, isn't it, Kamina and Simon? Yeah, that's it. Manly combining is all about fighting spirit, the graceful beauty of soaring through the air. <laughs> but uh the move combined together and that thing looked menacing as hell i like even like the color scheme of that i i loved how they looked and just then the animation they put through different points actually looked pretty good too some was bad some was good but this is you know how a lot of one piece episodes go so i would give this episode probably mm, i want to say like a seven out of ten i'd say it's pretty it was pretty decent oh and we just got to talk about oven now why is Oven not a sweet commander? Somebody please tell me that. Because that dude is OP as hell. No way he couldn't been a sweet commander. I'm wondering how uh, uh, Cracker even got in there. It makes me wonder how strong is Smoothie if you got someone like Oven and he's not a sweet commander? And they may snack a sweet commander? I bet you that Oven is stronger than Snack. Man, dude, the showcasing of his power. He could do close range and long range in a wide array of area. He could did it, dude. He, I'm, man, I don't understand why people act like Oven is not commander. Undid, Oven is commander level. I, with this episode, I am sure he's commander level because it was ridiculous. How he was doing people and how he just did that whole ocean like no way there's no way that he's not and just seeing all this stuff happen and smoothie didn't do nothing this episode but we know she didn't do nothing the whole cake out whole cake island so whatever i'm putting oven above her y'all can fight me i don't care anyway <laughs> but yeah just this whole episode the music and the singing and that pet cemetery part didn't that look like you guys were back in Thriller Bark? Because that's what it felt like to me. I thought I was back in Thriller Bark. 
it looked like um a Tim Burton movie. You know, like Nightmare Before Christmas and Caroline and all those type of movies. That's exactly what it looked like to me, those characters, those cartoon characters. I was like, Thrill of Bart and Fish and uh Hulk Cake Island. Are they saying that Moria and Big Mom's power is are like very, very close? Like similar or they're I don't know how to say it, but they seem like they're kind of, you know, play off each other. It's so weird how their powers are. I just, I, mm, it's interesting. And then both of them might end up being in Whole Cake Island because we already know Big Mom's there. And we know Blackbeard is with um, Moria right now. He might end up being there. So we'll see. But uh, that, yeah, I really like this episode. Um, <laughs> and then the part where they're saying, you know, the stars are on the ship and they're upset because where they're scared because they got surrounded again and luffy walks up and the flag is fluttering behind him i'm like yo that look fire right there he luffy's like this flag is basically is like this flag is my pride is my strength is my determination you ain't gonna never let me fall and then at the end of the episode they was blasting up everything just shooting them with all kinds of cannonballs and we see that the flag fell off the ship. So I'm like, oh, so you're trying to say that Luffy's time is over. The Straw Hat's time is over. And that's what they're kind of implying. And I'm just like, oh, dude, this is really a good episode. I, I like the direction they went in. Um, that is the end of my video. Like the video if you liked anything I had to say. Uh, leave comments down in the bottom if you want to talk about anything. Remember, my name is AMG, and anime, manga, and gaming is all that. And I'm at.